Hello, Ferocious here. Let's build a very simple example using GNU Radio Companion. In this example, I'm going to build a dial tone uh, simulator. So what we are going to need is we are going to need to create two different frequencies and send those to our sound card. So to do that, I'm going to search uh, for signal source in our block list on the right. So when I, uh, the block lists are selected, I'm going to use Control F to give me the search functionality. And I'm going to search for signal. And I'm going to just drag and drop it here. Since we are going to use two different tones, I'm going to copy this using Control C and paste it, Control V. Okay, so now I have two signal sources. I want to add them together. So I'm going to search here for add in the right. And I'm going to need to have the representation of my sound card, which is under audio. And it is called audio sync. So before we start connecting things together, let's examine the colors here in the ports. So we would expect the signal source to give us an output and uh, we would expect the addition block to accept some inputs and generate a single output and we would expect the signal the uh, audio sync to have a single input or if you are using uh, a stereo system maybe two inputs but in this case one input but we are going to see the colors are different. So the numbers make sense, but we are going to, we, we see different color codings. In GNU Radio Companion, the gray color represents message type. So these ports accept message types. Blue represents the color coding of ports that are uh, using complex data. Usually in our software defined radios we are going to encounter a lot of applications that require complex signals but audios are real, real values and uh, the, uh, the color coding for that is orange. So how can we connect signals that are of different type together. So let's see, these two are the same uh, type. So they are both complex. They connect seamlessly. I'm just clicking on the uh, output port of the block that I want to connect and I'm going to click on the input port of the other block that I want the signals to go through, just like our schematics. It's very convenient and intuitive. But look what happens if I want to connect a complex signal to a real signal. It doesn't work and it is uh, marked by this red arrow. And if you go here, you will see that there is an error, uh, an, an, an error uh, which says the sizes of the signals uh, that are being connected together are not equal, meaning real values are represented by four bytes and uh, complex samples are represented by eight bytes and cannot be connected together, which makes perfect sense too. So let's change all of these blocks to have uh, real values. How can I do that? I double click on it and change the output to float which is a real value and we can see that the colors change and when I click OK the color of the output changes too. I will repeat that
and finally for the add block I will make it accept and produce real values and now we can see everything is working perfectly fine now for my uh, audio sync uh, this can work in theory but uh, audio syncs do not uh, accept any sample rate most of them are very picky some of them are more relaxed and can accept a wide variety of sample rates but let's be safe I don't know your setup so I want to make sure that it works everywhere or as widely as possible I think 48 kilohertz of sample rate is uh, the most common so I use that let's make sure that everything else is also consistent with that so I change this value here to 48,000 and I use the name of this variable to propagate this value everywhere so if we see here I have selected 48 kilohertz but if I just use sample rate here we are going to see that the value of this variable is passed on and here we are going to see 48k that is uh, the convenience that we are going to gain by using a variable that sends its value to all the blocks that use that so we can see I have not changed the sample rate here but because in the block it relies on the name sample rate uh, and this name is set to represent for 48,000 now we have consistent value of sample rate across all of my blocks now let's uh, set the frequencies to the deal tone of phone uh, based on Google I'm not 100% sure on that uh, the frequencies the dual frequencies that are used to represent free dial is uh, 350 Hertz and I'm using a uh, cosine because it is in dial tone the signal is sinusoidal so let's change the amplitude too because it may get a little bit nasty if the if the sound is very high and people who may use headphone may have problems with that let's use 0 0.1 as amplitude for our other tone we are going to use 440 and the amplitude is going to be the same 0 0.1 okay so now we are generating two different tones adding them together in this block and sending it to our uh, sound card let's try it first we need to save it I'm going to save it here in my GNU radio I'm going to name it example very nice so with this simple example we have seen how we can use conveniently two uh, different sources add them together send them to uh, our audio card but let's go a little bit deeper first of all let's disable graphical user interface in execution of our file because we don't need that so here in the top block that represents the uh, flow graph itself I can set the generation to not use any uh, graphical user interface and that is because I'm going to show you the code that was generated by GNU Radio Companion as we talked about in previous videos GNU Radio Companion creates Python files that rely on GNU Radio library to work so I want to show you the code therefore I'm going to disable all of the extra lines that come with having a graphical user interface so by choosing no GUI 
and generating again, I'm going to have a more streamlined Python file. So let's run it again and see if it is still working. Very nice. Now I'm going to show you the code that was generated. In GNU Radio, as you can see, this is the file that I have uh, created by saving my flow graph and it is a GRC file. But this uh, flow graph, while, uh, when it was compiled, it create and let's not use the term compiled, when it was, uh, when it generated the Python file, uh, it generated this file and the name of this file is dictated by the name of the option that we chose as the ID of our flow graph. So let's take a look inside and see what happens under the hood. This Python file is actually very small. It imports several libraries and we can see that a lot of them come from GNU Radio itself. In the class, which is called top block, we have an initializer. In this initializer, we go through three steps. We first define some variables, which in this case, we only had one variable. And the name of the variable is stamp rate. It is coming from this uh, block that was called stamp rate. And the value that was assigned to it is now uh, here and we can see 48,000 is assigned to the SAMP rate. In the next step, we create the digital signal processing blocks, which in this case we have four digital signal processing blocks. If we see here, let me close this, we have four workhorse, workhorse blocks which are our two signal sources, one addition and one audio sync. And here we can see that we have four blocks and they are initialized uh, to the values that we have given to them using this tab. So in this tab, for example, I have given the amplitude, the frequency, the type of the signal and things like that. The sampling rate and we can go to our generated block generated Python file and see that the blocks have the corresponding values as their initializers uh, so for example the addition block is here the audio sync block is initialized here and in uh, its sample rate input, for example, the value of sample rate is given. In the signal source, we can see that the uh, initialization values, namely the frequency and amplitude that we uh, specified in the properties of our block are forwarded to this part of the code and they are created. So now uh, the blocks are initialized. Let's see how we connect them together. So as we can see, we have three connections. Each of these lines is a connection. One is between one of the sources to add, or the other source to add, and the other and the last one is between the output of the add and the input of audio sync. Here we can see we have three connections between uh, the source to add, between the source to add, and between the add, add block and the audio sync block. Our class, which is called top block, inherits from GNU Radio top block, which is the base class that has a lot of functionalities for any flow graph. In implemented in it. We can see that 
uh, when the main is called when our Python file is running it initializes the a block um, from our top block and it calls start on it and start will uh, will make all of these come to life it is implemented inside top block block um, GNU radio top block and uh, it will make sure that every uh, block that is uh, in our in this hierarchy is running and when we we stop it uh, it will stop the blocks and it will uh, terminate gracefully so now that we have seen the output of the GNU radio companion as a Python file we have a better appreciation of how things work under the hood we can also run this Python file manually and get the same result let's try that So the files that are here are the same that we have seen and we are going to run. We can use different methods to run it, but let's use just calling the executor. And we can see that it is running and it is waiting for us to press enter to terminate. I hope you have enjoyed this little example. Thanks for watching.